Hello everyone. In the last lecture, we discuss about the decoders. We discuss two to four decoder. Today we are going to discuss about the three to eight decoder, which is also known as a binary to octal decoder. So three to eight decoder are a binary. to octal decoder so this is a block diagram of 3 to 8 decoder it has three inputs a b c and it has eight outputs from d0 to b sign this is a truth table of the Three to eight decoder. So we have a three input lines. A, B, and C are the three inputs, and from B zero to this B seven, we have total eight output lines. So we will get total. Eight instances or eight combinations. So the first combination is triple zero. When all three inputs are low, then we will get D zero as the output. In the second combination, A B are zero, and C is a one. So in this instant, D one. Will be high. In the third instance, combination is zero and zero, and we will get output as zero. So this combination of zero one one, we will get D three as the output. In the combination of one zero zero, we will get D four as output in combination of zero. Sorry, in the input combination of one zero one, we will get D five as output, and in the combination of one one zero, so output will be D six. And the last combination of inputs is A, B, C. All three are three are the high, and we will get D seven as a output. So here you can see that the pattern same as two to four decoder. It is a diagonal pattern. So. Creation of the truth table for the three to eight decoder is very easy. Now let's create a logic circuit. Let's design a logic circuit for the three to eight decoder. So this three are our input A, B, and C, and we created A bar, B bar, and C bar using the three node gates. So first combination D zero, all three inputs are zero. So the AND gate is connected with A bar, B bar, C bar. For the second combination, D one is equal to A bar, B bar, C. So A bar, B bar, and C. Similarly, for a third combination D two, the inputs are A bar, B, C bar. So A bar, B, and C bar. Third, for the fourth instance, D three is equal to A bar, B, C. So this is A bar, B, and C. 
for a fifth instance d4 is equal to a b bar c bar a b bar c bar for a sixth instance d5 is equal to a b bar and c so a b bar for seventh instance d6 is equal to a b c bar so e and b and c bar and last eight instance output d7 is equal to a b c so all three a and b so here you can see that uh, the our input is a binary data we are giving a binary and we are getting output as a octal so this decoder is also known as a binary to octal decoder in the next lecture we will discuss about the encoders thank you Have a nice day. Bye.